Hi team, week four, Whisper Run Club, uh, or walk slash run club I should say. I hope you're all well, and I also hope you've been getting as much value from the sessions as I have in delivering them. Uh, quickly, two points to consider for this quick video vlog. Firstly, uh, ensuring that we allocate some daily rituals or weekly rituals around our homework sessions, the optional two sessions per week. And secondly, just making sure you reference your rating perceived exertion scale um, to monitor intensity if you're not using uh, an application or a watch to monitor your pace. So the homework sessions are on the spreadsheet. They're on the spreadsheets okay, that, are, that are available for your viewing. Okay, Jose has cleaned them up nicely for us. Uh, it's so important. I've been running you know, Melbourne Corporate Health uh, for near on 11 years now. And I have to say that the Run Club has probably been one of the most successful programs, no matter what level of fitness. And where I've noticed the greatest benefit in, their re in return on time for my clients is making sure that they allocate time for themselves. So my question is to you is, you know, what rituals can you now start to incorporate throughout your, uh, throughout your week to ensure that you get those benefits or achieve those outcomes that you want, okay? It is autumn, right, which means it's a really, really good opportunity to make the most of the sort of still relatively mild weather, even though the last couple of days you wouldn't experience that, okay? But creating the rituals that allow us to set the foundation for winter, okay? And so we can maintain, make good uh, of those habits and hope, actually hopefully turn those rituals into habits. Okay, so please make sure you refer to the spreadsheet. Look at those optional running sessions. Okay, look at those optional running sessions that are there for you, all right? You've also got, as I mentioned, you've also got your rating and perceived exertion scale. Every single session that I've designed, if there is a pace that is set for you, there's also a perceived exertion scale. So get yourself familiar with the perceived exertion scale located on our spreadsheet, okay? If you have any questions, make sure you email me. All right, so obviously the more you do, the, the, the greater return uh, that you're going to experience. So in regards to the benefits, you know, with those homework sessions, I've just made a note here, you know, we can almost guarantee a result in your time trial. You absolutely guarantee a result in your time trial. By, by way of saying that three kilometer time trial, you will get faster. Uh, secondly, you're gonna find, you're gonna find running significantly more comfortable by doing some of those supplementary sessions. Thirdly, you begin to understand how to pace yourself how to pace yourself and how to know how hard to push yourself and getting that feedback and being able to utilize that feedback to become more efficient in your running. You know, and not to mention those of you who wanted to shift a bit of weight or release a bit of weight, you're gonna be burning about 350 to 500 calories per session, which is enough on that particular day to put yourself into a calorie deficit to lose a kilo a week. So it's about 500 calorie deficit a day that we need, 3,500 calories a week to lose one kilogram a week, guaranteed. Okay, so obviously the weight loss benefits is there, plus all the other added benefits that uh, you'll experience by making that time for yourself. Okay, and those things that are truly are important to you. Okay, so in regards to the structure for tomorrow, we're obviously moving into what we call our strength training block. Remember, if you if you are good at, uh, I suppose, climbing hills, it's a lot easier to actually run on the flats. So we're gonna simulate as much as we can uh, hill running, Okay, with a bit of leg work uh, intermixed with some running. Okay, we're not necessarily worrying about pace tomorrow, but more about experiencing that heaviness in the legs, um, apart from the catch to 5Ks that are still going out and building their walking into that jogging base program. Okay, we'll be meeting tomorrow at the front of 360 again. It looks like, looking, judging by the forecast, the weather's been great. Uh, there is a contingency plan in case it does rain. Um, but I, won't, I, I don't think we need to put that into place for tomorrow. Um, I'll uh, put that in the email um, just in the event that it does happen, but um, the weather's looking pretty good. So any questions, any concerns, please make sure you get in contact with me and I really look forward to seeing you and maybe bring some of your friends along uh, to tomorrow's week four Whisper Walk Slash Rock Club. Take care guys, have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.